Hey guys, it's Shonda here for Substruck News, and I'm hanging out with Rhodey from Protest the Hero. Um, zero on tour with Zach. Wow, mm -hmm. How, how's that been? I mean, it's been good. There's not really very many dates. It seems to me that it's like day on, two days off, day on. You know, mm -hmm. so we've we've booked a bunch of shows on our own, and we've been instead of having days off, we've just been doing headliner shows. Uh, so you know, all these things combined, it's the best of both worlds. It's the very big stages and the very uh, small bar shows, so it's, it's the best of both worlds. Does it feel surreal, kind of, to be with someone as big as Ozzy Osbourne's <laughs> guitarist? No, does no? it, it no, doesn't no. feel surreal. I mean, um, I don't tend to, you know, like, become a fanboy of things, you know, like, I don't, I don't, there's a few things in my life that I would maybe fanboy over, like, <laughs> certain Star Trek characters or, you know, like, certain punk rock bands, but uh, it's, it's, he's been very gracious to allow us on the tour, and we're, we're happy. Uh, but star-stricken or, uh, you know, anything like that is yeah. open consideration. Um, any crazy, crazy tour stories from any tour you've had, actually? Uh, I don't know. A lot of weird stuff happens every day. Um, <laughs> I guess two days ago in Ottawa, some woman came up who had obviously been struck in the head with something, and she with blood rushing all over her face and she wanted to fight us. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay, the ambulance showed up and took her away, so... Like, very strange things happen almost on a daily basis, so it's it's hard to pinpoint you know, exactly what it is. You know, you take seven dudes, you throw them in a van with alcohol, and <laughs> weird stuff happens. Yeah, um, so it's been two years since your last album. Um, can we expect anything in the new year? Yeah, uh, we're, we're writing right now. Um, we're hoping to enter the studio March 1st uh, to start recording our fourth record, I suppose it would be. And uh, when it comes out, I think. Uh, like there's a whole bunch of tentative shit in the air. Yeah. You know, so no like, real solid details yet? Yeah, no no, no good ones anyways. You know, <laughs> we've got a couple songs for it, that's about it. Yeah. Um, so what musicians are you currently listening to? No, the new Taylor Swift record. <laughs> I told you, there's one guy in every band who likes Taylor Swift. Yeah, I like Taylor Swift a lot. There's one guy in every band. <laughs> I don't know if I'm sold on that record yet, but um, yeah, I've been listening to that. I've been listening to... Oh, is that gonna blow? I don't know, I listen to a lot of comedy music. I like comedy music. Uh, I like musical theater. I don't listen to a yeah. whole lot of heavy metal here. Let me get that out of here. <laughs> Uh, so, I guess, would Taylor Swift be a guilty pleasure? No, I feel no guilt for anything I listen to. <laughs> I am a country music enthusiast. Not not typically new country, but sometimes I listen to a little of it. Um, you know, I, I don't feel guilty about anything I listen to. Um, and do you find that listening to different genres other than the music you make brings a unique spin to the music that you make? Absolutely. You know, it, um, I think when you're adding tricks and things from and influences from different worlds it, it's going to ultimately create something that's a little left of center you know at the very least you know it'll be a little peculiar and i think the the little peculiarities are the interesting things about music you know i don't want to listen to something that's just a standard reproduction of something else you know it's like all these kids that start bands and they're like oh we're going to be a hardcore band and then they just play hardcore you know, it's yeah. like, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't set your you shouldn't set yourself in a little fucking box because then it's like you're just writing completely linear music and you know it's very easy to just not it's very easy to be stuck inside that box. Yeah. Okay, just gonna do a little lightning round of random questions. Not absolutely nothing to do with it. Or actually no, the first one does. <laughs> um Matt wants to know which of your albums has been your favorite. Um, as I'm sure it will go. I, I, I always like the newest record the most. Is there any albums you like, uh, like not yours, but just other albums that are your favorite? Mm, Propagandi uh, released Failed States. Failed States. Yeah. Um, I really like that album, but I really loved the album before it was Sporty Cast. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's my favorite record ever. Okay, awesome. If you could be any character in a movie, who would you be? I would be the Borg Queen in uh, Star Trek. Uh, I guess it. I guess it's what is it? It's Star Trek. 
the one where they go back in time. I can't think of the name right now. First contact, sorry. <laughs> awesome. Um, Duncan wants to know, yoga pants, are they an agent of deception? I guess so. I don't know. <laughs> like, are, aren't yoga pants like super tight? Like people go crazy for yoga pants because it like shows the ass very well. But I guess it also hides the like cottage cheese, but I don't know, I guess so. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> What's, um, what would be a dream video game that you'd like you, your music to be on the soundtrack? Well, we got them on a lot of the hockey games, which is cool, because then they give you the games for free, and you can't afford them. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I don't know, I'd like to be on like a Call of Duty soundtrack, you know, Black Ops 2 or something. Like that. <laughs> or Left 4 Dead, yeah, yeah. You're Hunting a Witch, you know, something like that. Um, describe your perfect Sunday. Uh, caves of Moosehead, you know, bottle of vodka, barbecue, and that's it. That's it? Yeah, just alone. I want to be alone. <laughs> I want to have a barbecue and like a bunch of crazy stuff to cook on it and just all the booze that I can handle. And just relax. <laughs> or not relax, party, really. <laughs> have a solo party. <laughs> Have you ever been told you look like a celebrity? Mm, I don't know, because like white guys with beards and glasses, like we all look the same. <laughs> you know, like, I have like a couple kids and I come up and be like, dude, my friend looks just like you. And I was like, okay, of course he does. And you look just like me. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, I'm not a very significant looking person, so I can't get compared to people all the time. But I'm trying to think. They compare me to the, the guys in my band say that I kind of look like the singer from Fall Out Boy. They call him Fat Roadie. Patrick Stump? Yeah, and I don't, I don't think I look anything like him, and no. I don't think he's fat. I, that's just what they say. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for doing this with me, and I'll let you, uh, Thank you. go do your other interviews and enjoy the show. I hope you do, I hope you do enjoy the show. <laughs>